transformation constant is a really powerful constant but it's a little bit complex but once you understand it it's pretty easy so let's see how it works select the the tire and then select the transformation and then in the target object at this cube now the source object is the target object and the destination object is the selected object itself so what this constant does is it borrows the location of the or the rotation or the scale of the object and then convert this to any of the other axis uh, transformation like you can copy the location and then convert that into rotation so this is what we are going to do so let's select so for now we want the tire to move when we to rotate when we move this in the y axis okay so and then we want this to rotate in the uh, x axis so select this in the location the y so type any number for now 5 let's see and we want this to rotate so go to the rotate tab rotate in the x axis so let's type 360 now if i rotate if i move this nothing will happen before we are changing the axis so this one is so y this one is uh, this one we are moving this one into the y axis but we want to rotate this in the x axis so we will have to define that over here so from from y to x so from y to x so if now we will move it it will rotate but as you can see it's doing opposite so what we can do is we can click here and type in minus now if we move this it will see it's rotating but as you can see it's rotating only 360 degree and then it's stopped so what we can do is we can select this and click on this icon and now it will forever rotate sorry see it's rotating but if we see this from the side and we can see it's not like rotating accurately it's sliding a little bit so how we can make it 100% accurate rotation so we will have to use a bit of math if you have heard of circumference so we will need the circumference of this tire so how we can get a circumference of this tire so here we can get the diameter this one is diameter and then we can go to the google sorry we can go to the google and we can search circumference of cycle of circle and there we have radius but we have diameter we do not have radius so what we can do is so the diameter is the half of the uh, diameter is twice of the radius so what we can do is sorry we can do is we can click here and then we can divide it by 2 now we have a radius so copy this and then undo this and then again move to the google and search this over here so it will not work because we have m so remove the m and now we have the circumference so copy the circumference and paste it over here so when we move this cube one 2.9 meter it will rotate once so now if you see this from the side see now it's natural see so now it's 100 percent accurate rotation so this one is the last content constant of this video then we will explain the next in the next video i will explain about the tracking constant and the relationship constant but in the bonus let's do one more cool thing so i have this land i have this land with a bunch of subdivision 
and this displacement this displacement modifier and this cloud texture so what we can do is we can select the cube and then we can use the shrink wrap modifier uh, shrink wrap constant and then we can select this one land as you can see it's moved up and we can change this to nearest point from project now it's accurate now when we move this one it will go down up down up down see how cool this is